Imagine waking up one day and noticing more hair on your pillow than usual. For many, this scenario is all too real. Hair loss is a widespread issue that affects millions worldwide, regardless of gender or age. It's more than just an aesthetic problem, it's a deeply personal one. The emotional toll can be significant, leading to a dip in self-esteem and confidence. Many try to combat this issue with a myriad of treatments and remedies, often with little to no success. The market is flooded with products claiming to reverse hair loss, but how many of these promises hold true? The struggle to find an effective solution can be exhausting and disheartening. Yet the answer might not be as elusive as we think. It might not be in a fancy salon or a high-end store. But what if we told you that a solution might be lurking in your kitchen cabinet or at your local health food store? Meet ashwagandha, a herb that's been used for thousands of years in traditional Indian medicine. Ashwagandha, often hailed as the prince of herbs in Ayurveda, is a small shrub with yellow flowers native to India and North Africa. It's revered for its restorative and rejuvenating properties, traditionally used to combat stress, boost energy, and improve concentration. Over the years, ashwagandha has made a name for itself in the wellness community worldwide. Its popularity has skyrocketed with many seeking its potential benefits for both mind and body wellness. From capsules to powders, it's become a staple in many health-conscious individuals' routines. But ashwagandha isn't just about stress relief or energy boosts. Oh no, it has another trick up its sleeve. This robust herb is also making waves in the world of hair care. And now, emerging research suggests ashwagandha may also have benefits for hair growth. So how does ashwagandha help with hair growth? Let's delve into the science behind it. Ashwagandha, also known as Withania somnifera, is a powerful herb used in Ayurveda, an ancient Indian system of medicine. It's renowned for its adaptogenic properties. That's a fancy way of saying it helps your body manage stress. Stress can be a significant factor in hair loss. When you're stressed, your body produces more of the hormone cortisol. Elevated cortisol levels can disrupt the hair growth cycle, causing hair to enter the shedding phase prematurely, but ashwagandha is here to save the day. Research has shown that this herb can significantly reduce cortisol levels. By lowering stress, ashwagandha can help create a more optimal environment for hair growth. But that's not all. Ashwagandha is also a potent anti-inflammatory. Inflammation can damage hair follicles and inhibit growth. By reducing inflammation, ashwagandha can help foster healthier, happier follicles that are primed for growth. Another fascinating aspect of ashwagandha is its potential to improve blood circulation. Blood carries vital nutrients and oxygen to the hair follicles. By boosting blood flow, ashwagandha ensures your hair follicles are nourished, promoting stronger, thicker hair. Furthermore, research has suggested that ashwagandha may stimulate the production of melanin, the pigment responsible for hair color. This could potentially slow down the graying process. Now isn't that a bonus? So in a nutshell, ashwagandha helps with hair growth by combating stress, reducing inflammation, improving blood circulation, and possibly delaying graying. And it does all this naturally, without the use of harsh chemicals or invasive procedures. Sounds promising, right? But how can you incorporate ashwagandha into your hair care routine? Well, stay tuned as we explore that in the next scene. Using ashwagandha for hair growth can be as simple as incorporating it into your diet or applying it directly to your hair. This versatile herb, with its deep roots in Ayurvedic medicine, has been used for centuries to promote overall wellness, and its benefits for hair health are no exception. Now let's dive into the step-by-step -step guide on how to use ashwagandha for hair growth. Firstly, consider incorporating ashwagandha into your diet. This can be done by adding the powdered form of the herb to your daily meals or beverages. You could stir a teaspoon of ashwagandha powder into your morning smoothie, or even sprinkle it over your lunchtime salad. If you prefer, ashwagandha is also available in capsule form, which can be taken as a dietary supplement. However, remember to start slow and see how your body reacts to the herb. Everyone's body is different, and it's crucial to listen to yours. Now let's move on to topical applications. One popular method is creating a hair mask with ashwagandha. To make this mask, you'll need two tablespoons of ashwagandha powder and enough water to create a paste. Apply this mixture to your hair and scalp and let it sit for about 30 minutes before washing it out. This mask can be used once a week to promote hair growth and reduce hair loss. Another method is to use ashwagandha oil for scalp massages. Massaging your scalp with this oil not only nourishes your hair follicles, but also improves blood circulation to the scalp, which can stimulate hair growth. To do this, simply warm a small amount of the oil, 
apply it to your scalp, and massage gently for about 10 minutes. If you're not a fan of DIY, there are also plenty of over-the-counter hair care products that contain ashwagandha. These include shampoos, conditioners, and hair oils. Just make sure to check the product labels to ensure they contain a good amount of the herb and not just a sprinkle. Lastly, remember that consistency is key. Hair growth is a slow process, and it might take a few months to see visible results. However, with consistent use and complemented by a balanced diet and stress management, ashwagandha can significantly contribute to healthier, fuller hair. Before we finish up, it's also important to note that while ashwagandha is generally safe for most people, it's always a good idea to consult a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement or treatment. With consistent use, you might just find that ashwagandha is the hair growth solution you've been looking for. So why not give this ancient herb a try? Your hair might just thank you for it. Before you rush off to try ashwagandha, there are a few things you should know. While this herb has been celebrated for its myriad benefits, it's essential to approach it with a balanced perspective, acknowledging the potential side effects and precautions that come along with its use. Like any substance, ashwagandha isn't without its potential side effects. Some people may experience mild discomforts such as upset stomach, diarrhea, or nausea, particularly when first starting to use the herb. These side effects are usually temporary and tend to subside as your body adjusts to the supplement. Additionally, ashwagandha may also lower blood sugar levels. While this could be beneficial for some, for individuals with diabetes or those on blood sugar lowering medications, it could cause their blood sugar to drop too low. Similarly, ashwagandha may also lower blood pressure levels, which could be problematic for those with low blood pressure or those already on blood pressure medications. Furthermore, due to its potent effects on hormone levels, ashwagandha might not be suitable for everyone. For example, pregnant or breastfeeding women, as well as individuals with hormone-sensitive conditions like breast cancer, uterine fibroids or endometriosis, should exercise caution. As with any supplement, ashwagandha may interact with other medications. It's particularly important to be mindful if you're taking sedatives, as ashwagandha can enhance the sedative effect. Also, those on thyroid medication should note that ashwagandha might increase thyroid hormone levels in the body. Lastly, if you're scheduled for surgery, it's advised to stop taking ashwagandha at least two weeks before your procedure, as it may slow down the central nervous system, potentially interfering with surgical procedures and anesthesia. These precautions and potential side effects underscore the importance of a thoughtful and informed approach to using ashwagandha. Understanding these potential risks can help you make a more informed decision and ensure safe usage. Always remember, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen. The journey to luscious, healthy hair is a holistic one, and it's important to consider all aspects of your health along the way. So there you have it, a potential hair growth solution that's natural, affordable, and backed by centuries of traditional use. Ashwagandha, the wondrous herb, has shown its potential in boosting your hair health and possibly even promoting hair growth. It's incredible how this humble herb, used for centuries in traditional medicine, can potentially help us combat hair issues. Remember, however, that every individual is unique and results might vary. Always consult with a healthcare professional before adding any new supplement to your regimen. We've explored the science behind it, the ways you can incorporate ashwagandha into your hair care routine, and the precautions you need to take. Now it's your turn to weigh in. What do you think? Would you try ashwagandha for hair growth? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you.